Hello my dear friends, happy Friday and this is Tatiana. Today I want to tell you a few things that are quite important and I really wanted to share. Uh, this week happened to be a rather eventful week. I was going to talk about networking part two and give you some successful examples of um, job seekers. And honestly, I had so many uh, cases on hand. So I decided to summarize and give you just three things that all those people who succeed in networking have in common. The very first thing is visibility. I know it means stepping outside of your comfort zone or how I like to say it, extending your comfort zone. All of them use social networking. They use um, LinkedIn. They go to special employment services. They ask for help. Anyways, they reach out to people who can potentially be their hiring managers, their future colleagues. They ask for advice. They ask for coffee chats. They do everything that their mentors tell them to do. So they're hardworking people. I guess this is number two. They're hardworking people. They trust their mentor's advice. They do not argue and they have humble, optimistic approach. So the first one, was visibility make sure people who who you are interested in connecting they know you and they know you for the professional achievements and professional aspirations so connect mindfully connect uh, smart with people who are in your industry with people who can potentially be your colleagues hiring managers mentors so number two is hard working do everything your mentors tell you to do. I mean, if you don't agree with certain things, ask questions, but assume if you don't know everything and by tapping into other people's experience, you are enriching yourself and you are definitely uh, going to save time and it will prevent you from making mistakes. So hard working. Number three, I would say people who, um, who succeed in networking, they take every opportunity seriously. Even if you are living in a small room and you don't have a desk, you're sitting on your bed when uh, having a coffee chat or a virtual conversation, wear your suit, make sure you are dressed properly, your shirt is ironed, <laughs> your shirt is ironed and um, you are very well groomed. Uh, anyways, that visual appearance, plays a huge role in how other people perceive you and perception as you know marketing self-marketing basically plays with other people's perception of you of course communication has to be decent even if you struggle with English uh, your attitude your desire to learn your humble approach your optimism will help you offset that so don't let language barrier be something that holds you back I've seen examples when people couldn't even speak English and they still managed to succeed in networking based on their previous experience education so allow yourself more time break those barriers extend your comfort zone connect with people use smart networking and of course be visible hard-working humble listen to advice that your mentors give you and uh, the third thing make sure that you take every opportunity seriously and you dress up and you look great thank you very much i'm today i'm recording this friday chat from my car so it's not a long conversation but this basically summarizes my observations uh, for the week because i attended networking event i met with mm, successful immigrants who used networking and who asked for help uh, also i had presentation about self-marketing so if you're interested we can discuss self-marketing tools next week i have a few interesting things to share with you thank you very much for tuning in and um, i wish everyone a wonderful weekend Enjoy it and I hope the weather is going to be nice. Thank you.